Hello, welcome back um, to Ceramics with Miss Tamamitsu. This is part two of our slab pet video. In front of you, you will see our stiff slab um, pieces to make our pet. And they're propped up on a cylinder that's covered in newspaper so they don't stick. Okay, so they are very stiff. And um, the head again was a quarter inch thick. That's one ruler thick. And the body was a half, is a half inch thick. That's two rulers thick. And I just did a quarter inch thick, fun little tail here as well. Um, the tools that you'll want to use and that we use today, um, besides our rolling pin and, uh, and uh, sticks and cloth and our uh, slab making tool or our, our texture making tools, our impressing tools. So we're done with those now because I've made all the impressions. We just need a water, sponge. You're gonna want some scoring tools, some uh, brush, and, and maybe a knife and needle tool and maybe a smearing tool. But we did use these for the other parts of the project. So I'm gonna lay those to the side and go ahead and focus mainly on scoring and slipping. So I don't want the, the, this, the head touching the floor, so you do wanna give it some elevation and kind of figure out where you wanna put it. If you wanna put it straight on, if you wanna put them sideways, give them some attitude, you can do that. But whatever you do, whatever, wherever the connection is, you want that both surfaces to be slipped and scored at, uh, extremely well so that your piece doesn't fall apart, okay? So I'm gonna start just by using the water and I can take my sponge and giving this a little bit of a bath there and go in. I know that it was touching around this area because I felt it. So wherever the surface is touching and you're gonna make it extremely muddy, okay? Um, I've had a lot of students in the past that the on the small ones, the heads pop off really easily because they didn't score well enough. On these large ones, you even need to be more careful. So I slipped and scored here. I'm gonna place it like sideways a little. I'm just gonna give it a little stamp and that shows me that stamp where I need to slip and score on the surface of the body. So remember, lots of, lot, a little body because the body's a little bit um, softer, and that's okay because you're going to score really well on the head. But because it was a half inch thick, it dried a little slower. Um, but we're going to go ahead and score that up, and go out of the way, get extra scoring marks. You can wipe them up later, and I'm just going to rescore this head a little bit more hatching and cross hatching and I'm going to apply. So again, I want to slant. Yeah. Cause my cat's given attitude. He's pointing his head to the side and being like, what you looking at? So I'm going to pick this up and give him some pressure. And you notice, you know, it's leather hard when you don't lose the texture, right? So I'm giving him some really good pressure and I like it. It's on. Shazam, that's all you need to do, okay? So um, you don't want any residual water sitting on the slab or on the tray. So you wanna make sure to get that up. I'm using a paper towel right now, you can use your towel. Um, and if you need to do any additional smoothing, this is when you can do it. Remember, everything should be rounded, all the ends of your slabs. You don't want it to be sharp and cut someone later on. So just make sure everything's uh, round and smooth. And you can always go back in and kind of straighten up where you made impressions for the nails and like clean it up at this time. But I like them. All we got left is the tail. So I'm going to put it here and then I can leave a little space under that for a butthole. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and dip that in the water. Okay, just to get the end a little bit. It's a little firm and we get a little bit of flexibility there. And again, I'm just going to score and slip really well, put him out of the way so that I don't drip all over him. And give it a little stamp where I want to put the tail right above where I'm going to add a butthole <laughs> and um, score and slip there. And re and score and slip a little bit here. And go ahead and add that pressure. And again, you want to give good pressure, get that slip, that slipping out. And you'll notice I lost some of my polka dots on this one because I really wanted to add a lot of pressure because he's sitting up like this. So can I always go back in and add some more extra polka dots? 
Yes, you can. Yes, I can. Yes, you can. Okay. I'll show you that in a minute. So I lost a little of that texture. I'm going to take a brush now and I don't want to, my brush is already wet. I don't want it to be soaking. I'm just going to clean up. Okay. That slip that slipped out. And that's a good thing when the slip slips out like that. That means you're doing your job. You're adding good pressure. And now I'm going to go in under the head and you'll see there's like some residual like scoring marks. Um, woo, he's slipping forward. Um, and just kind of smooth back there just to make them nice and clean. And I'm really satisfied with this. I think this is gonna turn out really nice. I wish the camera angle doesn't do it justice, but I'll kind of hold them. Do you see? And then on the bottom, in the back, I can take an impressing tool, maybe one with a little bit of a point, <laughs> and give them, it's not a hole, but a little impression. And just to give them a little humor, okay? Um, and <laughs> have some fun with that. Okay, so um, before I'm done, like I said, I lost some of those holes. So I have some tools in the classroom that are, I think this is about the same size as these. Um, the tail's supposed to match like the head. So this one works really well. And I'm just gonna give it some of the same impressions. And when I do that, I'll do them in like a brick laying kind of fashion, maybe or not. Okay. And I'm happy with that. And that helps give him a little extra pressure. You'll see some slip slipped out. And um, I can take my brush and clean along there. And I lost some impressions around here so I can go back in and give him a few. This one has some bigger ones. So um, I believe, yes, I have um, some other scoring or some impressing tools that are a little bit bigger. Okay, so I'm really happy with this guy. Um, I'm excited, I can't wait. Um, because he's a sculpture, we probably won't glaze. Um, and we're a, bit, a little bit behind this at the end of the semester. So we'll probably paint these with acrylic paint. And that's fine because, you know, um, it's a sculpture, not something you're gonna eat off of. And sometimes when you do use acrylic paint versus glaze, you have a little bit more control and you could do some more ex extra exciting stuff. Now there's a little bit, ooh, um, stretch marks right here. And you wanna be careful. I think I'm gonna take a little bit of paper because my tail wants to flatten. And if that's the case for you, this is how to prop it up by just making a little paper like armature. And then where those stretch marks were, I can just kind of smooth it back out and along here, you don't want to avoid adding a lot of water, but if it got very leather hard, like this is almost getting bone dry, I might just smooth those little stretch marks out there. And it's kind of hard to give that back any of that texture. Oh, but I can try, can't I? So anyway, make sure, yeah, if your tail is sticking up, you want to give it a little bit of a lift with newspaper, not with other clay, okay, with newspaper. And um, you can, if it's day one, and you got this all assembled because you are an awesome student, I would still bag it maybe and um, kind of clean it up the next day. Otherwise, you can turn it right in like this. And this is how you'll give it to me and I will take them off. So everybody will have their own tray. All right, so thank you. And don't forget to like, subscribe, smash that notification button. And I think one more thing I'm gonna do before we go, I'm gonna give it some little eyeballs. Oh yeah, okay. And he's kind of, looks like he's giving me a little, maybe a little bit more of a stare that way. All right, thank you. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye. And again, don't forget to like and subscribe.